The world is losing its mind right now over large language models and in particular DeepSeek, which is a model we've been looking at all, all week. Uh, this isn't my first video on the topic, but in my last video, I did share about how Llama had a hard time telling me how many T's were in the word tattoo. And I got a lot of comments from people saying, hey, Adam, calm down. You've got a lowercase T, you know, two lowercase T's and an uppercase T. So it's technically correct with two. And so I just wanted to show you very quickly how Llama 3.1 behaves compared to DeepSeek. So here we have the prompt, count the number of occurrences of the letter T uh, in the word tattoo, including all letters in your count. And I actually ran this um, ten, 10 times, and you can see here, it actually got it right the first time. Okay, so I've got three, but then the other 19 times, I think it was 19, sorry, nine times, it got it wrong. It got it wrong every single time. So once it got it right, only got it wrong, only got it right 10% of the time. And this is Llama, this is Meta's model. Now, if we have a look at DeepSeek, and it does take a bit longer to run. Uh, it does a whole heap of thinking, which is part of its, you know, secret source. It has a whole, yeah, thinking element to it. But then it gives you the answer. The letter T occurs three times in tattoo. So that's attempt number one, which, which Llama got right as well. Scrolling down, this is attempt number two, and each of these are independent of each other. They're a fresh new call with just that, that, um, that message from, uh, from user, which is this one here. So message from your yeah, user, count the number of, of occurrences of T. Exactly the same sort of thing. So looking at this, again, all the way down, thinking, where was the response? Thinking, got to think for a while, thinking, 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 three times. Okay, we're going again, thinking, 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 three times. There's the answer, three times. And, you know, to be honest, it hasn't got it wrong, T1, T2, T3, there it goes. Again, three times. So look, it's. I've got no doubt that we're going to see reasoning models become the new norm. Um, I'm, I'm almost certain Meta's gonna release a version of Llama, which has a whole reinforcement element to it. Um, so it does a whole heap of thinking and it gives you the answer. I'm expecting to see a whole heap of functionality where you can turn on and turn off that feature to get a quick answer versus a sort of reasoning answer, which we're already seeing with ChatGPT. But I thought I'd just share with you really quickly how DeepSeek just, just consistently gets it right. Um, it goes through its working and it consistently gives the correct answer of, of three compared to if I scroll up, Llama consistently giving me the incorrect answer of two and then just once sort of randomly giving me that correct answer. I just thought it was so interesting. Um, I'm going to be building some more tests, but more importantly, I'm going to be creating a whole heap of videos of how you can really use any one of these models in some of the data cleaning stuff that you need to do as a data scientist, data analyst. So make sure you subscribe for those because I've got a whole heap of content on how we can actually put these large language models to use. It's one thing to spell a word, but that's a bit boring. Let's actually get these things cleaning data making decisions around data and extracting really interesting value from data. If this is at all useful, uh, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much.